So we have Duelist Nexus, the first set of Series 12. We've got the new 25th Quarter Century Edition image here. The green has changed to like more of a leek color and the font is a lot more <laughs> intense. We've got a couple of Synchron guys, new Quasar, Crimson Dragon, this crazy back row, another scrap iron card. Wheel Synchron. Light Machine Tuner Effect, level five. The five is correct, I can see it right here. You can only use this card's names two and three effects once per turn each. One, if this card on the field as a synchro material is used, you can treat this card as a non-tuner monster. Cute. During your end phase, sorry, during your main phase, you can immediately after this effect resolves, normal summon one level four or lower monster. You can also cannot special summon from the extra deck except synchro monsters. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one synchro monster you control, make it lose up to four levels. Next is Revolution Synchron. It's baby power tool. 900, 1400, little level three guy. You can only use this card's names one effect once per turn. You can only use this card's names two effect once per duel. So let's start with the hard once per turn effect. If you are synchro summoning a power tool synchro monster or a level seven or eight dragon not synchro monster, you can use this card in your hand as a material. That's awesome. Once per duel, if this card is in your graveyard and you control a level seven or higher synchro monster, you can send the top card of your deck to the graveyard, glow up bulb style. And if you do, special summon this card. And if you do that, this card's level becomes one. This thing is just glow up bulb, like all over. If it's if you control a level seven or higher synchro monster, it's once per duel, it's mill a card, it's summon it back, it's a level one tuner. <laughs> it's, it's just glow up bulb. Everyone wants to know what this one is. Cosmic Quasar Dragon. It is a light dragon synchro, 12 stars, 4,000 attack and defense, and it uses a tuner synchro and two or more non-tuner synchros, same as Quasar across the board. Must be special summoned by a synchro summon using the above synchro materials. Once per turn, you can target a number of face-up cards on the field up to the number of this card's synchro materials, plus one, negate their effects. This effects activation and effect cannot be negated. So it's even counting the tuner, just that is three minimum plus one is four minimum. You can target up to four cards on the field and just negate them. They can't respond to that. Additionally, it has a second effect that's a quick effect. You can banish this synchro summoned card, special summon a dragon synchro that uses two or more non-tuner synchro monsters as materials from your extra deck. This is treated as a synchro summon that just summons Quasar. <laughs> Like, that is super cool. The Crimson Dragon, Akakiryu. Light Dragon, Synchro, Effect, Level 12, zero, 0, Just your typical normal stuff that you're just gonna deal with. A Tuner and one or more non-Tuner monsters. You can only use this card's names one and two effect once per turn each. So you can only use each effect of the Crimson Dragon once per turn and only once that turn, that kind of stuff. If this card is special summoned, you can add one spell or trap that mentions the Crimson Dragon from your deck to your hand, like that idol trap. Uh, quick effect, you can target one level seven or higher synchro monster on the field, return it to the extra deck, and if you do, special summon a dragon synchro with the same level from your extra deck. This is treated as a synchro summon. Synchro Overtop, normal spell card. You could only use the one and two effect of this card's name once per turn each. One, target any number of level seven or eight dragon synchro monsters in your graveyard. For the rest of this turn, you cannot special summon from the extra deck, except by synchro summon. Also, special summon them in defense mode, but their levels become one and their effects are negated. So that's soul charge for level seven or eight dragon synchros, but they all just become effectless level ones on the board. 
and you get synchro locked. That is just how you make Quasar anime style. It's really nice. Two. When a synchro monster you control is destroyed in battle, you can banish this card from your graveyard to special summon a Crimson Dragon from your extra deck. Which again, makes it one of those things that's searchable. Really nice. That is super cool. And we have a field spell card. Synchro World. Each time a monster is synchro summoned, place two signal counters on this card. Signal counters. You can remove signal counters from your field to activate one of the following effects. Four or more. Uh, just remove four signal counters to increase or decrease the level of a monster you control by one. Remove seven signal counters to special summon a tuner from your graveyard. Remove ten signal counters to special summon the synchro monster from your graveyard. And you get two counters each time a monster is synchro summoned. It also has a third effect that says, if this card on the field is destroyed by your opponent's card effect, you can special summon a Crimson Dragon from your extra deck. Which means it's another card with Crimson Dragon in the text box. Scrap Iron Idol Normal Trap. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. Target one of your level 7 or 8 Dragon Synchro Monsters that is banished or in your graveyard. Special summon it, but return it to the extra deck during the end phase. Also after that, set this card face down instead of sending it to the graveyard. Second effect. If this set card in its owner's control is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can special summon one Crimson Dragon from your extra deck. It's a little like Starlight Road scrap iron thing going, that's kind of cool. We've had a lot of quick synchro themes coming to the TCG lately. The goatee fish stuff, the gold pride cards. That seems to be a trend lately and it looks like after three years of fusions being the whole gimmick between Albaz and all the shenanigans he got up to and Predaplant, Verte, Anaconda and all the shenanigans that that brought up. Red Eyes, Dark Dragoon, Destroy Phoenix Enforcer and Mirror Jade, the Ice Blade Dragon. Uh, seems that we're moving in with Series 12 into an era of Synchro Monsters. Whether or not there will still be a bunch of fusions in this set remains to be seen. It's obviously still a possibility. We've only got five out of 80 cards here. Was it six, seven? Like, no, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven out of 80 cards known. Uh, big synchro theme to start us off though. Last time we started off with Guy of the Dragon Champion fusion stuff. So it looks like they're moving into more of a synchro era, which is kind of nice because they absolutely murdered everything in 2017, and 2020's big change was a revival of the regular extra deck styles. So who knows, maybe Series 13 will be more about Xyz monsters, but we won't know for three more years. For now, we're just going to enjoy the next three years of Series 12 with... Duelist Nexus, and a new Quasar Dragon, which is super cool. <laughs>